you want to about the hair? I like it. We were all fresh. The students were fresh. Mm -hmm. The staff who had just come in, a lot mm -hmm. of them were fresh. Mm -hmm. And the aspirations were the same to make each department, each individual, this university a success in the future. The city was enormously proud of its new university. Mm. And you, you are sat at the evening lectures, you actually were queuing up to get in the doors and you couldn't. And I think, I think that was a, a great and important part of the new university. I can't remember why I did, but we said North Sea because we were picking game, good pictures of the North Sea and cloud formations and sort of gales were coming. Uh, but it continued as it does today, and we've got dishes on the top mm -hmm. of the town. Mm -hmm. A big time. <laughs> <laughs> but the Town and Gown Committee was very active. Yes. Yeah. And there was, as you say, a, a, a pride in the city. Mm -hmm. Every student was appointed a regent, and that person was supposed to give moral guidance and uh, social guidance, if you like. And take them home for a meal or take them out for a meal and they actually got a budget to do that. Um, and that was in force until I suppose the 70s, 80s kind of time. Coming to Dundee, and it wasn't quite like this, but it was partially like this, that Dundee you either worked in a jute mill or you owned one. Mm. And there was nothing in between. Mm. And what the, the university did, and what Nine Wells did, it, it brought an expansion in the centre of um, social centre of Dundee in a way. Uh -huh. mm -hmm.